the Bayonetta 3 boycott situation has been absolutely fascinating to me I, I love seeing this unravel because it seems like what a lot of people were boycotting wasn't actually a situation that necessarily existed it's almost like these knee-jerk reactions to one person's claim about something was a bit futile and was pretty stupid to do because of the fact that it doesn't appear to be that way so of course what's been happening with Bayonetta 3 is the original voice actress Helena Taylor came out made a series of Twitter videos pretty much condemning the game taking Taking shots at Jennifer Hale who replaced her as Bayonetta and of course saying that she was underpaid that she was offered a lower amount of money than she should have been offered she was only offered four thousand dollars this that and the other encouraging you to boycott this game and I thought it was a bizarre situation when it happened of course we've done a couple updates since then kind of analyzing you know how video game voiceovers actually work in terms of monetary value we made a video on that yesterday be sure to check that out a lot of people didn't even seem to understand that video a lot of people didn't understand the correlation if you don't think Zelda is a bigger game franchise than Bayonetta and that people who work on Zelda multiple characters of a Legend of Zelda game that actually sells really well instead of a Bayonetta game then I don't know what to tell you go 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 take a, a basic math course but with this whole situation everyone was quick to defend helena taylor because she was the voice of bayonetta and i just sat there and i was like you know people people don't realize that there's there's three sides to every story there's there's the one side that comes out with a story there's the rebuttal side and then somewhere in the middle is the actual truth it's never really black and white in this whole thing but people are just so quick to to defend individuals that they feel need defending and this that and the other i just find it corny man i find it corny like let the story play out let's see what's happening why we're actually boycotting it now before we get into jennifer hale who is the new voice actress for bayonetta get into her statements because that's just the the real kick in the nuts with this whole situation the boycott has been absolutely stupid because all it's done is put bayonetta in a more light where it's actually being shown upon nintendo hasn't done any advertising with this game and now they probably don't even need to because people have been talking about bayonetta 3 so much now that sales for this game have been you know flying up like it was sold out on amazon it ended up having a 45 percent increase after these claims came out by helena taylor in terms of sales on amazon so it's like yeah, the boycotts, boycotts really working well there. You did a good job by raising awareness of Bayonetta 3. And, you know, I know John talked about it on the Spawncast. Was this going to impact the sales? I assumed he meant negatively because, if anything, I thought this was going to be a positive thing for Bayonetta because there's really been no, mu no marketing for this game. But now everyone knows about it. TMZ is talking about it. Every major website is talking about it. But, like I said, there's three sides to every story. There's the one side that sort of breaks the story. There's the person who responds. And then somewhere in the middle is the actual truth. Well, Jennifer Hale, who is now the voice actress of Bayonetta in, in Bayonetta 3 and is a seasoned individual within the video game voiceover industry. You can look at her record, her track record of voicing characters versus Helena Taylor. Helena Taylor hasn't done anything since 2014. She's pretty much known as Bayonetta. Now, that's not to say she's not working. I'm sure she's doing other stuff because... I mean, who just takes eight years off of life and doesn't do anything? But as far as how the voice acting industry works for video games, I feel like Jennifer Hale probably, this might be controversial to say, but I feel like she probably knows a little bit more how things work. She's probably a little bit more in tune as she's constantly doing roles for various video games. Well, Jennifer Hale said the following on Twitter yesterday. With regard to Bayonetta 3, as a longtime member of the voice acting community, I support every actor's right to be paid well and have advocated consistently for this for years. Anyone who knows me or has followed my career will know that I have great respect for my peers and that I am an advocate for all members of the community. I am under an NDA and am not at liberty to speak regarding this situation. My reputation speaks for itself. I sincerely ask that everyone keep in mind that this game has been created by an entire team of hardworking, dedicated people, and I hope everyone will keep an open mind about what they've created. Finally, I hope that everyone involved may resolve their differences in an amicable and respectful way. With love and respect to you all, Jennifer Hale. Now, upon first inspection, a lot of people are like, oh, that's a very, you know, PR sort of comment, but she's under an NDA. 
Okay, she's under a non-disclosure agreement, and that's kind of a legally binding contract that, of course, Helena Taylor decided to violate two weeks before this game came out because she wanted to tell her tale about how she was lowballed for the game and you should boycott the game and took shots at Jennifer Hale. So what does Jennifer do? She goes on the high road. You know, she goes on the high road, hopes that they're able to work out any situation, says things like, my, my track record speaks for itself and when you look at a track record if we're going to believe what people are saying i'm more inclined to believe the person that is you know constantly within the video game industry somebody that's been working actively for years and years has multiple projects under the uh, tons uh, you know uh, multiple handfuls of projects under the belt versus someone who really has just done one role and to me it's just so crazy that we're quick to villainize Bayonetta and Platinum Games and even Jennifer Hale to some extent because of what Helena Taylor has said of course there was a bit of a follow-up with this from Jennifer Hale and that's where I find things to get very funny because obviously she's under an NDA agreement so she can't say all that much but if somebody else were to say how she felt and she just simply retweeted it or something like that you could probably get away with that I don't think that's a, a you know breaking an NDA agreement well, there just happened to be a thread that came up that Jennifer decided to share and says thread a couple of little pointy downs on there and, you know, something that somebody had decided to say. So let's, let's take a look at this. If you only hear one side or part of one side of a story, you haven't heard this whole story. Spreading an opinion based off partial misinformation. Um, Partial information can spread misinformation. Get all the information, then ask yourself, where is this information coming from? If the sources seem too biased and unreliable, seek better source sources. We hear people out and give them the benefit of the doubt, but remember, people lie, people omit, people make mistakes, people misremember, people exaggerate, people misconstrue, people misrepresent, people get confused, people change their minds, people are failable. We don't live in a world of good versus evil and right versus wrong. We live in a world of nuance and details that matter. Familiarize yourself with as many of them as you can before you broadcast your opinions over a public platform like this. Real people can get hurt. Woo! <laughs> visceral that is a visceral statement to make on this because it's pretty much just saying what a lot of people have been saying about this you don't know the full story you hear something and it perpetuates a negative image of, of a company or an individual that maybe you don't necessarily like or you have a problem with and you just sympathize with this person automatically you give this person sympathy when in actuality and in reality there's probably a hell of a lot more to the story that you don't know about that people can't talk about for potentially legal reasons why hasn't platinum games come out and made a statement because they're a huge company there's multiple lawyers there's multiple attorneys there's multiple people and multiple moving cogs with this to where they can't do it still screw platinum games i still think they have a ton of problems and i'm not simping for the company i'm just taking this from a, a reasonable perspective and from a reasonable perspective it's ridiculous to just assume that all these claims made were actually true, that things weren't omitted, that things weren't made to make a bigger sympathy sort of campaign for Helena Taylor because of the fact that she decided to come out with this situation. And people are just so quick to jump on the bandwagon with this. And and you know what? All those people who, who took to Twitter, I'm not buying Bayonetta 3 and boycotting this game, it's done nothing. All you've done is given them free promotion. You know, at the end of the day, Platinum Games is probably in Nintendo. And Nintendo are probably very happy that this ended up happening because uh, interest in the game has peaked. We're at the highest point of interest for this game. People who completely forgot this game existed, people who maybe even never knew this game existed, are now familiar with the game. And the average person who's not going to project their inadequacies via Twitter and via different uh, social media platforms to try and justify things that they may be done in the past or you know problems that they have within themselves that they're too afraid to realize and too afraid to manifest into and they just you know sympathize with every single person who makes every single person uh, claim without even you know doing due diligence and letting the story unfold all they've done is completely backfire their situation it, it's gone in a completely different direction and like I said, like I've said in all these videos, you can boycott whatever you want. You don't have to buy this game. I don't get I I don't care if you buy this game or not. It has nothing to do with me. But when 
you sort of put out that energy into the world and you make a definitive statement and you know it causes all these people to be like well why isn't so and so boycotting this game are they a bad person are you a better person than them that's where i have a problem and i think the funniest thing about this and this is how we're going to close this video is most of these people have a certain stance on the world and a certain stance on viewpoints and things like that and they don't they don't like to have any sort of you know conversation about that they're very steadfast in their beliefs and that's fine you know nothing wrong with that but it's been recently discovered that helena taylor is pretty much the complete polar opposite of that and i'll leave that at that there's been some very questionable tweets that people of that ilk people of that mindset would definitely not agree with and they would they would they would chastise someone for believing in those mindsets so now now it's just a, a conundrum it's like well do i continue to support this person who's against some beliefs that i have or or do i double down or what do i do and it's kind of like hey you should have just kept it to yourself and then you wouldn't be in this situation don't send hate to anyone's channel or tweets or anything like that barring my opinion on this i am just one person these are just my opinions i put this out there because it's something that I, I feel strongly about you know i think this whole situation has been a shit show and it seems like it has been a shit show so shout out to jennifer hale you couldn't say much but you managed to say something within all that let me know what you think of this ban out of three situation in the comment section down below this will probably be the last time that i talk about this because I don't, I, don't, I don't think anything else interesting is going to happen until the game releases. And as always, guys, thank you for checking out this video. If you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button, like, comment, and share. Hit that bell notification as well. My mouth is getting very dry. I need my drink. And as always, I'll catch you guys on the next video. <sighs> Later.